to the earth came a word which through the illumination of holy sparks purposed awareness. Gather round, ye children of naivety, for the listenings of my son. No doubt through a persistent heart, a happy man offers significance, patience, and promises fulfilled. A prince well-to-do has nothing to gain by thine, since duty is immeasurable and riches inherited. Yet indeed, through repentance, a poor man is satisfied. Invoke the name, saying, Make haste, Lord, for the cattle are bound by the feet and await sacrifice, an unholy slaughter. No reverence nor grace be given in thy presence, for the wile of the evil one rules this vision. And his ministry is lighted and shines bright as to mislead into false security. For no priest of the order, no servant of the faith, no bearer of the truth wields a sword against his brother, likened to the cross which stands as an icon of the faithful foe. It blades them not into the blood of the Lamb, but into that of those slaughtered. For they who did not take shelter in the great paradise, corrupt they became by their own means and devilish ways. And they were a witness in the judgment of the age as a trustee. Words issuing forth from the furnace of his mouth, melting the iron of men's heart, that generation after generation follow in disorder, blinded by the darkness and the light, for the light that shines with hope misleads by way of confused monotony. Darkness yielding excuses and lighted candles illuminate the long path. Trust not friend nor enemy, God not with strong arm nor weapons. Be not weary nor alert, for only the faithful can meet fearless in these perverse days. Submit not, obey not, be subjected not to the inferior, who speak of peace, but yet peace is not within them. Keep ye your houses from the wickedness of the beast who reviled the Lord's inheritance, and would occasion to destroy with false hopes of tomorrows which bring not a rest unto the heart of mankind. Anoint thee, you children, with oil, and exact no desire from food or drink, for the oil is the sustenance, and faith quenches the soul's thirst for a blessing. The ground, although level, opens up to swallow your steps shaking, breaking, taking from you that which it craves most for its treasure. For heaven lies not on the earth, nor does hell stand between redemption and damnation. It is merely this most material realm which rumbles in measurable thunder, with insatiable desires and mouthing of unholy words to preclude an entitlement to the incarnated beings. O guardians of the earth, take flight against the dragon and repel its evil influences from the weak minded. For the adversary has become a trusted friend to many, and his face of man is fashioned and likened to a beast, feasting on a sumptuous buffet of peace, not in understanding but in presumption. So therefore, as I write these sayings only to explain which the light has distorted, Within the depths of the invisible rose the visible through the belly of a fearful angel, and darkness fell into the abyss, causing an eternal yoke to be borne onto the shoulders of all mankind. For to rise up in this light one must be scorched for a season and evolve into salvation, for by the mocking of his claws the glowing of this light dims the eyes, dulls the sentence, and adds murk to the soul. Be fearful of the sayings of priests, ministers, and elders, you brothers and sisters of this light, for deception has set in for a millennium and cannot depart us in a day.